You probably do, because one, you clicked on this video, and two, Byte currently offers only one font option, one text color option, and one background color option. In this video, I'll show you a way to add custom text to your Byte videos, where you'll be able to change the font color, the font itself, the size of the text, the background color, and even add text animations. We'll be using a free tool that works in the browser of your phone or computer. Okay, so to start, you're gonna go to kapwing.com studio. I'll put the link in the description below. And like I said, you can do this on your phone or computer. Either one's fine. To start, you're just gonna upload your Byte video file. So I have this one from a concert and you're gonna wanna make sure that the sizing of the video is uh, nine by 16. So if that isn't the right size, uh, make sure to click the screen and then choose it on the sidebar because that's the size of your phone and otherwise it'll get cropped. Secondly, you wanna make sure that your video is six seconds or less because that's the time limit on Byte. So this one's 6.17. I think actually the side, the timing limit is six and a half seconds, but I'm just gonna trim this video down to make sure that it fits. Perfect. Then to add any text you want, just go ahead and click text in the upper left corner and it will create text boxes on the screen. So you're gonna wanna add all the text boxes that you want to appear throughout the video on one screen and then we'll edit them in a second but basically add all the text you want. And on, this, on the right hand side, you can see that there's a ton of options for how the text will look. So you can change the font. There's a couple previewed there, but you can click more fonts and there's like a million fonts there. You can even upload your font. You can even upload a font if you're a Kapwing Pro subscriber. And that's great if you want to create a personal brand or style. In terms of other things, you can change the text color, the background of the text, and then even create outlines on the text itself. You can change the line height, and then we have these animations for the text. So if you go into that window, you'll see that there's five different animations, fade, flicker, hue rotate, wipe, and then vibrate. Okay, so I now have all the text boxes that I want to appear throughout the video on the screen at the same time. Um, I added I changed the colors of them, the fonts, some of the placement and sizing. Um, to resize text boxes, by the way, you can just click the text box and then use the corner, drag the corners of the text box. Um, but I don't want all of these text boxes to appear on the screen right at the start of the video. I want them to appear throughout the video. So to adjust when they appear, just click timeline at the very top of the screen and you'll be shown the timeline of the video. So the video plays from the left side to the right side, and each of these layers corresponds to a layer on the screen itself. So the bottom layer I'm clicking right now is the actual video. I want that on the screen the whole time. But for example, the I want it to say performance by at the start, and then Leon Bridges appears after the performance by text box. So I'm gonna drag the end of it back so that the appearance of it is delayed and each of these text boxes I want to appear after the other. So I'm gonna just do that accordingly. And so if I play this from the start then, so this, this timeline, uh, this thing I'm dragging right now shows you how many layers in the video are on the screen at that point in time. So right now where it is, there's only the two, the video itself and the performance by text box. So that's how you know what it would look like. And you can preview the video when you play it. Okay, awesome. So that's what I wanted it to look like. I wanted it to kind of cascade down. Um, and then, as you can see, the Leon Bridges was had uh, the uh, one of the text animations. So once you're happy with it, just click Done. And it should have the video. We can just play it again. Awesome. So once you're finished making any edits you want to your text boxes, just go ahead and click Publish and your video will load. So our video is done loading. As you can see, we had so many options for text and background colors and just animations, everything in Kapwing. Now to get the video from your device to your phone to upload on Byte, you can just click download or you can copy the link, send the link to your phone. You can download the Kapwing app in the app store and then just use this app to paste the link 
from your created video. And it's just a simple app that will help grab your video from your phone. So as you can see, it's here. I just saved to camera roll. Sweet, and that's it. So now you can just upload the video to Byte and it'll have awesome text that everyone will recognize and be like, how did they do that? Thanks for watching our video today, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and let us know other Byte editing tutorials or tricks you wanna see in the next video.